Alright guys, so we have had some comments about uh, DAISY settings and tweaks that we use to help um, us play DAISY on an almost daily basis on our stream. We do it multiple times a week. Um, so you're going to follow these steps here that I have. And the first part is going to be setting some launch options. And you'll see them directly on the notepad to the right. And you can also see what I have on the left. And to get to this, it's pretty simple. You, I'm not going to show you because it's so simple. You just go to the game, you click properties, and then at the very bottom, you're going to see set launch options. And you're going to type them in exactly as you see. Now, um, the no splash screen and the no pause uh, helps open up the game at the beginning. You run out, it doesn't try to play exactly as it says, the splash screen. So it just helps the game boot up quicker. And uh, that's wonderful because you know how long you can start, how long it can be to start Daisy sometimes. And the rest of the ones here that you're going to see, the CPU count, the max memory, and the threads is just information about your computer. You know how many uh, how many cores you have, how much memory you have, you know that kind of stuff. That's just going to be able to help the game know what specs you have on your computer, and it'll just help improve FPS. And you're going to just type it exactly like this. Um, these are the numbers that I have for my computer, so don't just copy what you see here. Um, this is obviously for me, and you may or may not have the same, but uh, that is that part of the video for just launch options. I'm not going to stay too much in this because it's pretty self-explanatory, right? Um, now what we're going to look at is changing a few of these options, okay? Now we're going to start out with these ones over here. What you're going to look for is max frames and detected frames. And then you're going to find them in the config file for DayZ, which is in documents DayZ, and then you'll just find it right there. Um, so you're going to go through here and you're going to look for them. Now I don't want to bother looking for that kind of stuff, so you're going to go max frames. There you go right there right in front of us okay so you're gonna just change that to that as you can see I have already done that and then once you do that you're just gonna save the file okay pretty simple uh, just file save if you don't know how to do that you're not doing the right thing and you shouldn't even try to do this so then we're gonna get to the last part of the video okay you're gonna get to your actual profile okay now this is gonna be the profile in this exact same one documents daisy and then profile and you're going to do the same kind of things that I showed you before. You can just do control F, you know, find what you're going to go for. And you're going to set them to these values, okay? Now, this is what I use and I found very successful. It worked uh, wonderful for me. Uh, you can kind of change these, play with what you want them to be. Um, you know, mouse smoothing, you can take that off. And view distance. You know, that's obviously how far it's going to render. If you drop that down a little bit from what it is, it's going to be better FPS for you. Now, I dropped mine down, and you're going to say, oh, I don't want to do that because I want to be able to see people, you know, that far away. But, you know, it really didn't make a difference. I could still see them from that far away, okay? It works wonderful. Um, these are some settings that are very simple to do, and it's just changing the files, okay? And you just, once you do them, you just save them, and that's it. It's easy to do, and uh, very simple and very, very effective. It gave me a boost of probably about 20 FPS, so I definitely recommend that. Okay, guys, so now we're going to get on to settings within the game. Now, for my graphics card, I have the EVGA 780 Ti, okay? Now, this is what I use for this video card. My monitor is not 120 hertz, so I disabled VSync. You're going to see a little bit of blurriness to this video, and that's because I'm using my capture card to record this. Uh, it was just the easiest way for me to do it. But if you want to, you know, see exactly what my what it looks like when I'm playing, I'm not going to get into that in this video. Look at some of our other videos on uh, from our live stream, or just check in from our live stream. Um, our YouTube has plenty of videos from uh, myself streaming and uh, you'll be able to see exactly what it's is like when you're um, from my perspective. I'm not going to get into that here because I don't want the video to be too long so I'm just going to go over 
um, settings themselves. But if you do see a little bit of blurriness, it's because of that. Okay, so let's get into this. Uh, this is pretty simple. I run it in window mode. You know, normal aspect ratio is custom. And because I run it in window for the sake of being in the stream. Okay, now here we go. Video, memory, auto, texture detail. I run it high because this computer is pretty good and it's it has no problem with running um, games. I have uh, the 780 tie, like I said. Um, now here I have this. Um, it's, you know, shadows, clouds, those kind of things. You don't need to see the best possible um, graphic detail and this is to get better FPS you know so clouds and shadows can be pretty chunky for you so you're gonna want to keep away from those keep them down now this is what I run for this bloom rotation blur those suck you gotta get rid of those post processing you disable that so that uh, you know when you get whacked by a zombie things like that it does the game doesn't get blurry if you disable that it handles it a lot better okay and now smoothing alpha coverage i get rid of all that very low very low impact on um the fps of the game okay now it's pretty pretty simple and pretty basic you know it's the settings aren't the craziest things in the world but uh you know you just we've got to do whatever you can to get that little bit better fps give you that advantage in the gunfights and you know what it's working wonders for me so you know, I, this is what I use. If you guys want to to check me out on live stream, definitely come out. It's uh, Twitch TV slash Nameless Empire, and uh, you know sometimes we have myself streaming, sometimes Monkey streams. Um, but you know, you can check it out live and see exactly what we're running. All right, thanks guys. Ciao.